Hey Virgos, how are you guys doing? Hey my tribe, hey y'all, hey. I hope everybody is feeling amazing. Hello to all my new subscribers and family members. Shout out to my A1 Day Ones and my loyal subscribers that continue to tune, tune in. Make sure you share the videos. Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I appreciate everybody who's been purchasing. Thank you for your donations and everything you do for our channel. I always like to show you guys appreciation and let you know how much I am grateful for each and every one of you. So, you guys, let's go ahead and get into your message. Um, we're going to dive right in and get your overall energy. I don't have a pre-shuffle for you today. Let's see what comes out. This is going to be whatever comes out for you. We're going to focus on the energy of what you need to know right now, okay? Welcome into your daily message. Hey, y'all. Um, the new tarot cards are available. We are going to use them today. I'm going to be using them often. Um, if you haven't gotten yours yet and you want to get them, you can get them on uh, Etsy and also on our website, closertomydestiny.com. I hope you guys love them. Yes. Yeah, so for all of you guys who got the Love and War deck, the deck that I created for you, my first deck, get that to pair with that and you guys can do um, the clarification with the tarot cards. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see. Underneath the bottom of the deck, we have ascension. It says you're shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality. It's time to soar to new heights, thriving, increase, and take off. Guys, with this ascension card, it could be talking about in relationships. It could be talking about in your work life, your career wise. It could be talking about you um, and your spiritual journey, your quest for your purpose and to get more in tune with the spiritual parts of yourself, maybe your ancestors, your lineage, learning more about the most high and God and how God is connected to the universe and how the universe can serve you better. So it's a lot of things that you're learning right now. So I do see you guys thriving, moving to the next level. So this means that things around you may not change, may not seem the same. It means that the relationships that you used to be content and maybe those things will change it's definitely a such thing as you outgrowing your comfort zone so i do feel that energy here i feel you guys are longing for more like wanting to do more wanting to see more wanting to have more especially in love all right and in life in general some of you guys may be thinking about traveling or whatever the case may be but i do see that energy here let's see what else is here these videos, guys, are going to resonate with whoever has Virgo placements in their chart. Sometimes it could resonate even if you're not a Virgo. You don't have to be a Virgo sign to enjoy my channel. I also have another channel with videos that I previously posted. Um, Tarot Tea with Goddess Meek, okay? So let's see. You can also type in Empress Meek and my channel will pop up. golden moment is here y'all we got fire within rebuilding independent all right and encounter some type of encounter will be significant again rebuilding came out so you guys are rebuilding re-establishing yourself in some way shape form or fashion all right and so i do see you doing that i see you guys putting more work into what you want to have and what you feel like you deserve as opposed to just settling some of you guys didn't even realize that you were settling you just saw it as what you're getting where you, um, that <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied because this is good. Some of you didn't see it as settling because you weren't trying to date above where you were. You weren't trying to reach for a job that excels where you thought you were, but that was just how you were seeing yourself. Some of you really took account of how far you've come, how many skills you have, how much, how many lessons you've learned over time. And you realize that you've elevated several times and you've been just doing, going, 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 going. You didn't even notice, right? So some of you are now taking into consideration how far you've come and how much you've put into yourself, how much work you've been doing, and you're realizing that you deserve a little more, okay? Not to seem ungrateful, but you want to get what you deserve, and you don't want to leave anything behind, all right? So it's okay to reach and set the bar a little bit higher. This helps you elevate to a higher form of yourself, right? And the goal is for you to get in your full power, walking in your full potential, and your highest vibration that you can be in. So 
let's go ahead and learn together y'all let's elevate together okay um good choices you continue to make them this came out again expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past in alignment and forethought many of you are really mastering this law of attraction thing that's going on and you're realizing that hey if I just put myself in position to receive the things that I want, I get them faster. If I continue to do the work on myself to put myself in alignment to get everything that I desire, I get it faster, right? If I be more of what I expect to come toward me, it comes faster. Y'all are really getting the hang of this thing. Um, For some of you guys from my August Virgos or whose birthday is in autumn, all right, you guys are really, really in the energy of change, growth, and development all right i feel like you guys are going through some significant changes okay for the people who are born in autumn also it's talking about harvest season right you guys have been planting a lot of seeds you guys have been really feeding your 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 ambitions and you've been really feeding your desires you've been really feeding your manifestations the seeds that you've been planting some of you guys have decided to go back to school you've been really working on yourself some of you guys dedicated to no toxic relationships some of you are withholding from sex some of you guys are some some people are doing something as simple as i'm gonna watch my mouth i'm gonna speak life i'm gonna talk more positively to people and when I'm talking, period, in general, somebody is like, I'm not going to swear anymore. It's just little changes that you're making to make your life healthier and happier. And these count, all right? The good choices count, all right? So be prepared to see some turnaround in a certain situation in your life. I always tell you guys to be an expectation. If this is you making changes, type, I'm changing, period. I'm changing, Right? That make me think about Jennifer Hudson singing that Dream Girl song. Y'all, when I tell y'all I can blow that song, that is my song. Trying every way I can. Yes. I'm changing. Okay, y'all. Listen to that Dream Girl song, I'm Changing by Jennifer Hudson. Y'all gotta find the YouTube version where it plays the one on the video, um, the one from the show. Because the one that they recorded sounds different. The one from the video from the movie, oh, it eats down, okay? Yes, that's what the girls say, okay? It really, really is good, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. That's my favorite version. Check that out. But I see a significant change, right? I see these changes happening in your life. So let's see. Ascension. Let's put one out on Ascension for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. A lot of growth happened in the spring. And you guys could have been planting seeds in the spring. And planting seeds is just simply making a declaration to do something, to carry something through. All right. You guys could have been also saving, planting real seeds, like building a savings account or just doing new things within yourself that is going to take you to a higher level. This could even be you planting seeds, um, taking a class. Whatever this is, is something that you're going to get a good turnout in as long as you continue to nurture it. And as long as you continue to do that, all right? That's what I see. So you've been planting seeds in the springtime. And some of the things that you've been planting in the springtime, you're going to see growth here. You're going to see that come into fruition, all right? We still have the seasons down below. So we got autumn and summer, all right? These months could be significant, spring, summer, and fall. All right, I feel like there's going to be some great transformations during these months. Rebuilding, you're going to be able to rebuild a lot of things that you felt like got diminished. Some of the things you felt like lost, you lost, you're going to be restored. They're going to be restored. All right, so you're going to see some huge changes within the spring, summer, and fall months. Okay, it's already started for many of you. You already see it. You already feel your growth and everything. And this being able to rebuild, this whole rebuilding process, it's going to make you a lot happier. Um, something here is going to be happening to make you feel a lot more empowered. Okay, with the strength card, you're going to feel strong and resilient. Um, you're going to get to pay those bills off. Somebody just wants to pay their bills to zero, honey, and you're going to be able to do it. All right, you're going to be able to do it. All right, and some type of encounter an unexpected encounter or somebody will enter your life unexpectedly that will slowly alter the course of your life. Um, it says, keep an open mind, surprise meeting and by chance. So this is something that is short of a coincidence. It meant to, it's meant to happen for you, but you never saw it coming. 
You never even thought to, if for some of you guys, it's a job and you never even thought to apply to this place or speak to this person, but one day it just happens. All right. And it could have already happened. Some type of significant meeting that's going to take you there. A lot of you guys are very independent and you don't take kindly to having to ask somebody for something. Something here has something to do with a dream or something that you tried to go after in the past. Well, something from the past is coming up in the future. And now I feel like you're qualified for the position, whether it's work, love or life. You're qualified for it now. You are qualified. All right. Now you're qualified. So get ready for something to revisit you that you tried for in the past. And now what was a no is going to be a yes. So get ready for that. It's the yes for me. Okay. Yes. Show me independence independent it's time to strike out on your own and rise to the challenge you're more powerful than you know it says free detached and uncommitted somebody is breaking free from these control tactics that people keep trying to do and like i said for some of you guys it's a controlling boss or this just an controlled environment whatever this is that you've been feeling has been keeping you in restraint you're breaking free from it somebody is really spreading their wings doing something different it's like you're doing more all right. And this is going to be a lot more fulfilling. Somebody says, I feel so good now that I dropped those burdens and I'm doing things on my own. I'm doing things my way. Somebody is literally having their way, feeling good. And somebody definitely is regretting how they treated you or playing these games with you. All right. They are. They're regretting it. Somebody wish they could take it back. But now you're free. You're free. You freed yourself from that person or that situation that made you feel overpowered or weighed down. Yeah, somebody definitely wants you back. <laughs> they wish they would have took the easier route. Just talking to you, working things out in a healthy way. Fire within. Yeah, whoever this is that had those control tactics feel guilty. And now you're open to receive everything that you truly deserve. Something new. Gifts of abundance are coming towards you. So y'all be open to receive these. Don't cut yourself off being in doubt, thinking that things are happening and you don't deserve this and you can't do that change that lingo so you can change your life you have to okay it's all about what you're saying to yourself and what you believe you can do some people just have to make a decision just to think healthier about their situation change that okay golden moment is here so it's something good y'all good choices are paying off something's revisiting you from the past a dream that you had or a goal that you set or something that you tried for in the past now it's a yes some of y'all is just as simple as wanting to move in a new place now you get to move in the place you want now you're going to get approved for that loan now you're going to get that home it's just things happening for you that you really deserve show me golden moment a blessing is on its way you see what i'm saying Y'all see what I'm saying? And it's going to cause some type of emotional overflow. You're going to be in tears. I feel like this is going to make you cry happy tears. You're going to be so happy. Something finally is happening for you. It says a blessing is on its way. An important door is opening for you that will make you very happy. Rare once in a lifetime is special. I feel like whatever this position is or this situation, this could even be a position in somebody's life, y'all. But whatever this is, it's about to make you extremely happy. This is something that... You really do deserve something that you desired and it's going to make you extremely excited. Okay, so let's see what else is coming out here. We're going to get one more card from this and then we're going to get good choices. Show me the emotional fulfillment for Virgo. Wow, a storm. Unexpected storm. This could be a literal storm in somebody's area. Maybe something is happening where something is getting tore down to rebuild. Hmm. Show me why unexpected storm is here. We're going to find out what this is. This could even be you walking away from something to go through this door. External party, some type of situation with a job. It really could be a job. It could be something here having to do with a job or a community, something that you could have walked away from. And I feel like the reason that you walked away from it was for, for a good cause. Like you felt controlled or you felt like somebody was being too controlling and you could have released something or a relationship. We're going to find out what this is. Let's do one on good choices. Forming a solid foundation. Yeah, somebody left a situation that was stressful in order to build something on their own. 
Yeah, somebody feels a renewed spark within them. This could be um, your excitement coming back, your optimism coming back, joy coming back. Um, just healing energy that you feel that's reigniting your fire. You could feel more passionate, more ambitious, or whatever the case may be. Now, let's get the tarot and clarify these cards, y'all. Let's see what this is and what this is saying for you. I was on my other channel trying to test the the live reading out, like test out the live so I can be able to hold on real quick. So we can go live, y'all. That's what we're about to do. Yeah, igniting the fire, fire within. It's saying find a way to reignite that energy in your life right now and immerse yourself into what you truly love. Passion, action, and driving force. And we see that happening here with this renewed spark. All right? For some of you, somebody wish they could come back. They do. With these control tactics they played, they feel guilty for how they treated you. Somebody's remembering how good things were, but now it's too late. Somebody wants to know if you'll come back and be open to them, but it looks like you're open to the blessings that you deserve as opposed to going back into the past when you already gave somebody a chance, right? This water sign, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with this tower falling between you and this person, but this ascension, let's put this, let's put this over here. So you got the sun, you got guilt. I feel like this is somebody's energy. We're going to clarify this, y'all. We got renewal. We're going to see what that is. Then we got guilt. Control tactics and guilt came out together. We got memories that came out first. So we're about to clarify all these cards to see what you need to know. And we're going to clarify the tower. And what this party, this additional party has to do with it. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Solid foundation. Meanwhile, you're minding your business, creating a solid foundation. Let's see. Let's use our new tarot cards to clarify this energy. Holy Spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and gods, thank you for bringing me here with my Virgos. Thank you so much for victory in every situation we may face, abundance and overflow and healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Thank you for clarifying this energy, giving Virgo the messages that they need, blocking and bonding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, and wickedness, monitoring spirits, familiar spirits, and unfamiliar spirits we ask to be bonded. We claim victory in every situation we face and healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Amen. All right, y'all. So some type of blessing is coming towards you that's going to make you very happy. Let's clarify this strength and empowerment and what the sun card is telling you. Show me strength and empowerment for Virgo. What's going on here for the Virgo? The chariot. All right, positive movement forward, overcoming obstacles and victory. So you could be definitely feeling this energy and you're feeling very strong. You're feeling a lot stronger than you were a few months ago. Some of you guys are really seeing success and you're staying ambitious. You're very assertive and you're determined to make something work out right. This is positive movement forward also representing you balancing your masculine and feminine energy. It could be balanced. I mean, it could be talking about a car. All right, a vehicle, something making you very happy regarding a vehicle. You could be getting a new vehicle, but this is positive movement forward in some endeavor that um, is going to help you excel to the next level, whatever it is for you. This could also be in a relationship, but whatever this is, this golden moment, this is what it is. It's a blessing on its way to you, a very important door opening. So it's going to be forward movement. If you're waiting for news, it's something that's going to be a yes. This is a double yes. Two major arcanas representing good luck, good news, good fortune, okay? So, let's see what else. Renewal. Why is renewal here for Virgo? All right, the Ten of Swords, okay? So, after a time of feeling betrayed, after you could have felt like somebody was doing black magic, this is talking about curses being rock bottom, um, somebody could have backstabbed you. This is talk back. I said backstab. Somebody could have backstabbed you. This is the Ten of Swords energy talking about energy. I mean, talking about enemies, competition, and the end. It represents the end of a tough cycle and you being renewed. So somebody could be saying I was betrayed or let down or something didn't happen in my favor. Now finally, this is the end of that cycle. Positive movement forward is here, and some type of renewal is here. All right, so some type of good news is coming, and we'll clarify that a little bit further. Let's go to the Ace of Cups energy. 
with this renewal ace of cups emotional fulfillment and the hangman energy all right this is a temporary pause taking time out stagnation and waiting or this is somebody on the fence okay you could feel like now it's positive moving forward after something was stagnant for a while after you felt let down and betrayed now something is moving moving forward for you and you're no longer stuck all right this is also a card reminding you to take advantage of um the wait the pause in between spirit is telling you with the hangman energy to take advantage of that all right because now with this external party somebody wanting to work with you this is that meeting that unexpected encounter that your other cards were telling you about right here okay and this is what this is representing with this third party energy um doesn't have to be a third party but it could be a group of people but an ex unexpected encounter will slowly alter the course of your life keep an open mind and this is a meeting by chance and a surprise all right this is something that you don't expect but it's definitely going to um exceed your expectations um this is uh, equal give and take regarding money this is gif gifts i said gifs lord help me this is gifts <laughs> this is gifts generosity equal sharing investments community support and rewards all right so i feel like it's some type of significant meeting that's going to happen in a community this is also representing blessings from god with the six of pentacles um it could be you getting more than somebody else who expected you to fall under this could also be God showing you that I'm here and now I'm bringing you the equal give and take that you deserve. But with the with the external party and the six of pentacles, it's going to be some type of business deal. I feel like it's something here that's going to happen that's going to make you very happy. All right, now at the bottom of this, we have memories, control issues, and guilt in a storm. Somebody could regret being too controlling or whatever they've done to cause a tower moment. So let's get this energy here at the bottom. This memories of nostalgia, memories and nostalgia. Who is this? Because this is showing a man looking out of the window and the image of a woman's face, like somebody really thinking about somebody deeply. Somebody could be in regret or thinking about how somebody did them wrong. But now better days are coming. You see the sunlight peeking through the clouds. So this represents the calm after the storm, you know, and here's the storm at the end. All right, so let's see. And also representing Ten of Swords, the end of a storm or troubling time. All right, so let's see. Memories, nostalgia. Let's see. What is, why are memories here for Virgo? Why are memories here for Virgo? Let's ask again. Show me memories for Virgo. Why is it here? Ten of Pentacles. All right. So this could be a job that lost you. Honestly, this could be a job that you walked away from. Um, and somebody feels guilty for trying to control you. This could also be a relationship dynamic. Somebody that you offered a happy home to. Um, this could be an empire or a family business or some type of long term. This could represent old money, deeds, wills, wills and tradition. All right. But this financial security, somebody could be remembering their goals and their dreams. And now finally, you're going to be able to do this with the sun and the chariot. Somebody's thinking about their dream home also possibly. But whatever this is, you're going to be able to do it. Somebody here with this control taxes regret not being able to move forward with you. All right. This could have been somebody that did you so wrong. I feel like you could have loved this person at their worst time. And now this is something like that. Let's see. Control tactics. What's happening here with control? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Somebody could regret trying to control the situation. All right. With this flirtatious free spirit. All right. Somebody made hasty decisions. Tried to be controlling and do what they want or whatever the case and got left behind yeah now the ace of wands somebody could have could be guilty feeling guilty or feeling like they sabotaged a brand new opportunity somebody could have somebody could feel like they ruined the chance to move forward with you somebody could be dealing with the fire side that's in deep regret what's this unexpected storm what's the storm queen of wands yeah so with the queen of wands energy this is somebody who is independent the storm i feel like somebody started to recognize their power here somebody started to realize that they can have whatever they want 
They don't have to be stuck in a terrible situation or a situation that doesn't serve them. Show me one more on the... Well, let's, let's further clarify these, all right? We're going to get another deck and clarify them a little bit further. But there's some type of new beginning here. And somebody could be regretting the fact that you do better on your own. Somebody could be seeing that they shouldn't have ever tried to play with you or toy with their emotions or mistreat you. Because now they're feeling bad. They're feeling bad, especially at the fact that you're thriving and you never needed them. Like they see that you didn't need them and you're on this new beginning taking a chance, taking a leap of faith, and everything is working out for your good, okay? It's happening for you. Yeah, with the full energy. Somebody never imagined that you would be leaving them behind. Show me, um, let's do one more on the Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, collaboration, dedication, reward, and goals, and paying attention to detail. I feel like now with this Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, again, we're getting collaboration, somebody working with you. So not only are is this talking about new um, good news and money matters, I feel like you're going to be getting an equal give and take there. But also, um, when it comes to stability and building a home or building um, a firm foundation, you're going to be able to do that too. And I feel like somebody is feeling very much left behind. What's the energy of the Knight of Wands? Somebody is truly regretting trying to control a situation. And they're regretting their decision with the world. The end of cycles. Somebody not wanting something to end. All right. Somebody not wanting something to end. Not wanting to end this cycle with you. All right. And they're trying to be controlling. Somebody was trying to be too controlling. It's also manipulation. It's somebody not learning their lesson with the Knight of Wands, with the world in reverse. So this person didn't learn their lesson. And they feel guilty because they had a new opportunity. Let's see. What's the Ace of Wands? Yeah, somebody's not learning their lesson here. Three of Cups. Somebody's guilty. Feeling bad about having some maybe starting something new with somebody on the side or behind your back what's this three of cups energy representing why is there guilt here high priestess and the two of cups so somebody's feeling bad about not taking advantage of the opportunity that somebody gave them here with the high priestess energy this could be a pisces doesn't have to be but this could definitely be somebody that you were talking to, Virgo, and you used your intuition. Um, you wanted something more than what this person was giving you. You wanted a monogamous relationship that you can build with, and somebody just wasn't ready to do that. All right? You started to use your intuition here with the Page of Cups energy. This could also be this person bringing you an apology. Um, this is a friendship offer. Somebody offering to be friends or to make amends or make something better. Hmm. Show me the Queen of Wands. What's the storm in the Queen of Wands? Knight of Cups. All right. So this is an offer. This is somebody who, honestly, Virgo, you could be offering something to a Queen of Wands energy. You could be offering something to somebody who's a go-getter or whatever. But I feel like this is... Virgo, you recognizing your worth and walking away from a situation, you blossom. It's like you outgrew this situation. Um, and now the Knight of Cups is coming back, very flirtatious, wanting to talk to you, feeling in regret, wanting to start something over. This could even be an offer, like a business, a boss, realizing that they lost a good candidate or something like that and wanting to get you back. Show me one on the chariot forward movement of um, success and overcoming obstacles somebody is like this is a small thing to a giant i'm i'm winning right with the star card this is you getting renewed renewed spiritual renewed healing um this is just your life getting better this is you being elevated this is you learning your lessons moving forward and applying them to your life and now you're shining from the inside out somebody realizes what a star you were this is talking about contentment and creativity all right you capitalizing right the star and the chariot and the sun y'all oh my god virgo that's amazing right let's see the ten of swords you're picking up the pieces after feeling betrayed and backstabbed by somebody after somebody hurting you 
somebody deceiving you. Yeah, with this King of Cups in reverse. A manipulator. Somebody using their... their. It's like... This person has the potential to be a beautiful person. So mature, compassionate, sound advice, emotionally balanced, devoted, um, a husband, and a spiritual God even. All right. This is somebody who is very wise spiritually and very kind hearted, very compassionate, definitely a leader. But in the reverse, this is somebody that uses everything that they have for bad, for all the wrong reasons. This is somebody who definitely is unstable and emotionally manipulative right and this ten of swords this person betrayed you in the past this could even be a boss that you realize is nothing but a manipulator but i feel like it has something to do with love possibly also for somebody but this person is feeling terrible about mistreating you about stepping out on you about starting over something somebody was definitely seeing somebody on the side or just putting their friends and family first or something like that they were just not focused on this love and they're feeling bad about it and they have these feelings for you and they don't know what to do with it because they ruined everything they really screwed up somebody's realizing that with this hangman energy why is the hangman here for virgo uh-huh five of cups somebody's feeling sad loss and despair emotional instability i told you lonely divorced isolated unwelcome change like they never wanted this to happen they didn't want this to happen but it did they feel terrible at the fact that not that you're doing good but that you don't you never came back like you're doing so much better without them and this person is feeling really really bad they're feeling really really hurt let's get more so the five of cups this is somebody who tell me more about this king of cups in reverse Yeah, this person was very cold and calculated. With the king of queen of pentacles. Yeah, look at that. And this person was very cold and calculated. And this person is trying to get over feeling betrayed. All right. Five of cups. Yeah, somebody's willing to start over. Solid beginnings, good news about a solid beginning, um, laying foundation and effort. Somebody's willing to put in the effort that it takes because of the love. Like, they feel like they ruined everything, but they're trying to pick up the pieces and they want to bring this back together. Virgo, this could even represent you picking up the pieces in your life, like I was saying, and just trying to do something new, trying to do things different, trying to stick in um, for the greater good and, like, keep your eye on the prize, right? Um, with the six of pentacles, beware of illusions. All right. It's a lot of options coming your way and spirit wants you to explore your options and don't tie yourself down too quick to one decision. This could be work, love or life. But while you're free for my free Virgos here, explore your options and take your time. All right. It's given night of pentacles energy. Yeah. So beware of illusion. Show me the fool. What's happening with this fool energy? It's going to take hard work and resilience. It's going to take you to control your urges and focus on the end goal, okay? So the strength card is talking about patience, resilience, and focus, all right? It's talking about compassion through taming, all right? Overcoming self-doubt also. So this is what the strength card is talking about. I'll make this a clearer picture because I wanted you to be able to see the expression on her face clearer. So I'm going to fix that. <laughs> All right. But that's with the strength and the fool. This is big. Okay. This is some big energy. Um, And this is all about stability, rebuilding, good news about um harmony, um, about teamwork, harmony. All right. It's homecoming, collaboration, um, and being productive, laying down roots. So I feel like it's something that you've been working toward that is really going to start to work in your favor and you're going to be surprised. Okay. Something beautiful is about to happen for you that you truly do deserve, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get you a closing message. And I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get two. I'm going to get one self-love affirmation card. And then one of these random messages from Spirit about your greater good. All right. Let's pick you one. All right. So your self-love affirmation card is trust. 
It says, take a check. It says, take a second chance. Hold on. Let me clear it up for you. All right. It says, take a second chance. Faith can move mountains. Trust the universe to guide you through the unknown. And then you have, you're a lot tougher than you think you are. All right, my love. So this is your message. Thank you so much for being here for me and with me. I love you guys. And you can book your reading at closer to number two, my destiny.com. If you're moved to do so Bye, my lovies.